Metro Sergeant Kevin Minon's bail was set at $100,000 cash. The judge saying she found serious concerns with all of the allegations now pending against him. Metro Sergeant Kevin Minon appearing for the first time Thursday in shackles and wearing a Clark County Detention Center uniform. He showed no emotion in court and was seen holding a piece of paper. Minon is now facing two charges of possessing child porn. The walls are caving in on Mr. Men. On Thursday, attorneys argued about bail. Channel 13 was first on scene to find Metro officers at Minon's home on Wednesday, clearly investigating and collecting some of his property. I'm the, sergeant. the suspended Metro sergeant was arrested at the courthouse before his hearing on a separate case related to accusations he conducted illegal arrests on the strip. A Clark County grand jury indicted him in that matter October 9th. They ran to a secret proceeding and deprived Kevin Manon of an opportunity to confront his accusers in that case. Defense attorney Dominic Gentile represents Minon, and during Thursday's court appearance, it got heated. Gentile did not like the state's ask to set Minon's bail at $250,000 cash, calling it, quote, ridiculous. You might consider it in an open murder. But prosecutors Nick Ports and Christopher Hamner pointed out there were more than 200 images of child porn found on two of Minon's laptops. They also told the court Minon tried to get rid of evidence. I can think of no other reason to put a digital device like a laptop computer in a kitchen sink other than to potentially destroy what is contained. Prosecutors argued Minon targeted vulnerable people in our community, both while in the line of duty and at home. He abused the public trust as an officer and he's exploiting children when he's in his private time. They told Judge Nadia Wood Minon should stay behind bars, but Gentile argued Minon is not a flight risk. The bottom line to it is it's about will he show up. He showed up yesterday. He never made it to the courtroom because they arrested him. At the end, Judge Wood set a $100,000 cash bail. The allegations of what was going on in the workplace coupled to the, with the allegations of what was going on in the residence is, is very concerning. Both allegations involve victimizing those who are vulnerable. If Minon can post his bail, he'll be placed on high-level electronic monitoring. He's due back in court on November 6th on his original case stemming from charges on a grand jury indictment. At the Regional Justice Center, I'm Jaywon Jung.